Happy spring, everyone. Time for some deep cleansing. I got my Apollo right here. So today I'm going to talk about my spring into summer lot hair regimen. First, just gonna give you a little background about my locks. I started them three years ago, 2-2-2020. Two, two, I started them with two strand twists. I have either 79 or 80 locks. I counted them twice and got two different numbers. My locks matured at about 18 months. I didn't retwist my hair for seven months and just retwisted it yesterday. I wanted to start the spring with a fresh retwist. So yeah, that was what I did. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show what it looked like in the shower in a quick video as well. This is the length. I will say I will never go that long without a retwist because it's unnecessary. It was painful. I had to go really slow. My parts are not as clear as what they used to be and sharp because I do my own retwist. I may schedule to have somebody else do my retwist just to get my parting right again, but then again, I may not. I'm not sure. I didn't really see any pros to waiting that long. I really rated that long out of not doing a retwist a priority because I do keep my locks super clean. That is my focus. My scalp stays super clean. And I'm gonna go over what my winter regimen was and the difference that it's gonna be now that we're getting into a warmer season. So I use the Talia Wajid Herbal Stimulating Shampoo. It is green and it is my favorite. It gets my locks super clean, my scalp tingles. I love it. Black owned company as well. I use a moisturizing conditioner. As long as they're salon quality, I'm game. I use spring water in a fine mist spray bottle for moisture. And I use avocado oil to seal the length of my locks only. I never put any type of product in, in, outside of when I retwist my hair on my scalp. I used Talia Wajid's tight hold to retwist the scalp. And then I always retwist from top to bottom, like I wrap the hair all the way around. That's why you don't really see a lot of frizz. And I don't use Talia Wajid to do that. I actually use the African Formula Super Grow Hair Gel. I believe it is a black owned company. And then sometimes I'll use Pure Lock and Twist Gel. That is a black owned company. And that, again, that's only for the length of my locks. It's a heavier texture, like an edge control type texture. And it really takes any frizz away. I have really frizzy locks because my hair is a pretty loose curl pattern naturally. So my locks are frizzy as a result of that. And I'll talk about lock cultivation in another video where I will really get deep into lock cultivation and growth. Now for spring and summer, it's about to be hot, especially where I live here in the state of Texas, it's crazy hot. So my shampoo stays the same, the Talia Wajid Herbal Stimulating Shampoo, Salon Quality Moisturizing Conditioner, Avocado Oil to Seal the Length Only, and oh, I didn't add that I sleep with a satin pillowcase winter and summer, sometimes with a do-rag. Definitely with a do-rag when my hair has a fresh retwist. The things that I add during the summer, everything stays the same. Nothing, I'm not omitting anything as I go from winter to summer. What I do is I add humectants. That can either be aloe vera gel, which is a natural humectant, or vegetable glycerin. I don't have any vegetable glycerin right now, but I definitely intend to get some. And I always keep aloe vera juice on hand, like always. So instead of using spring water, I usually tend to change it to aloe vera juice during the summer months, because like I said, it can work as a humectant. And what is a humectant? It is a natural product that draws moisture from the air to your hair. The reason why I don't use humectants during the winter is because it has the opposite effect and can dry your hair out during the colder months. But in the summer, adding that humectant is A1 and my locks stay so soft, so supple. They are not stiff. They have a whole lot of movement because I don't use a lot of product and because I am super, 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 focused on keeping my locks clean. 
more than focusing on a retwist, I focus on keeping my locks clean. I don't have like all these different products and all these different like, one cool thing about once you lock, you don't have to have all that anymore. You really don't. Your hair is gonna do what it does. It's going to lock. And as long as you trust the process and allow it to do that, you're gonna be fine. I wear head wraps winter and summer. For the winter, I'll usually wear a heavier head wrap if it's cold. During the summer, I use a lighter fabric. I like to cover my locks in any type of extreme weather. So if it's extremely cold outside, 30 degrees or less, I'm gonna have my locks covered up with a head wrap. If it's extremely hot outside, over 82, 83 degrees, I'm gonna have my locks covered up. That's just what I like to do. In conclusion, when it comes to locks, it's all about just keeping things super simple. Clean scalp, you need a clarifying shampoo or a moisture focused shampoo and a moisture focused conditioner. Both need to be rinsed out extremely well so that there's no product that can weigh your locks down. Have a sealant oil. My favorite is avocado oil. I love the softness that it gives my hair. If for any reason I don't have avocado oil, cold pressed extra virgin olive oil is without a doubt my next go-to sealant oil. I will be retwisting every eight to 12 weeks. That's, that's basically what I'll do. Like I said, I'm not gonna ever go as long as I went. A part of the reason why I went so long too was because I am a hairstylist and it's unfortunate that because I do hair every day, mine tends to take the back seat when it comes to grooming. It doesn't take the back seat when it comes to care, but when it comes to those retwists, I do not look forward to it because I do my own. So because I do my own, I'm always like, I wanna put it off, put it off, but I just put it off way too long this time. Not gonna do it, don't recommend it. The most important thing that I learned with my journey is to just allow my locks to do what they're gonna do. I never had like a preset look that I wanted my locks to have. I knew that I wanted thick locks, but I wasn't like, I want my locks to look like hers. I really went into it knowing that this is going to be a journey that is very unique to me and what my hair looks like. And I think that that's really helped me stay on and stay committed. So stay tuned for my upcoming video all about lock cultivation and growing strong, healthy locks. All right, see you in the next video.